o'clock about to daybreak. It's uh, nine minutes past eight. Now then, are you happily married? Well, it's a question that we've been asking in a new survey. A quarter of husbands and wives admitted they're no longer in love with their partner. Our Tiffany Royce has been investigating. We're now joined by uh, Charlotte Corey, author and broadcaster of the BBC Radio 4 comedy series Thinking of Leaving Your Husband, parenting expert uh, Liz Fraser and Amanda McAllister, group leader of a family law firm who commissioned this study. Um, is there I such a thing as a happy divorce? Yes, there is. Um, and I say that... Um, before you make that step, it's absolutely imperative that you get the right advice um, and that you, you will, um, you, you're aware of all the options that are available to you before you make that step. Very um, but I would completely disagree. There is no such thing as a happy divorce. I got divorced. I am now extremely happy. I've remarried. But my God, that process of getting divorced is nasty. And you know, I know so many people who have got divorced, obviously, because, you know, a lot of us talk together. I don't know anybody who's had a happy experience of that. What do you, what do you think, Lou? Well, I think one of the things we, we need to look at is what, what marriage is and what we expect from a marriage. You know, I mean, one in four people say that they're no longer in love. Where are the 50% who are lying out there? You know, it, it, humans are actually not meant to live in, in a way that we, that we create in our society. We're not supposed to live with one person for 70 years and be blissfully happy. Actually, humans used to die at the age of 40 a long time ago. The fact that we live to 90 now, you, you know, makes us... Tr we're trying to do something which is actually biologically, emotionally and for many other reasons very very difficult and I think if we set out understanding that and going I've committed to you okay I'm gonna try and do I'm gonna try my best mm. to do this but to, to understand that it needs more breathing it needs more flexibility what I would like to say I and mean, as you say nobody wants to go through divorce I'm at the stage of my life now you know 40 ish <coughs> nearly um, you know, <laughs> uh, give or take um, where so many of my friends are splitting mm. up and to, to sit here smugly and say well I think you should work at it harder is deeply offensive to those people and hurtful to those people who do not want to go through it is not true to say that you know it oh you know, old oh, divorce is kind of okay. If it's not working out, you should. It, it's it's really totally destructive. Nobody wants to go through. Because everybody says Ultimately. it's the easy option, but actually, no. You you know, sitting next to me here, you know it's not the easy option. But I I think that we as a culture perhaps need to to sit and think about what marriage is, what it can be, and what it can allow mm. to allow more people who are at a stage of this perfect image, when the perfection disappears, yeah. they go, oh, well, it's not working anymore. Yeah, no, 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 that's but when normal. It works, but when it works, it's very good. When it good. works, when it works, yeah, when it works it's great. It's good. <laughs> it's good. But it's not easy. And it's, it's the what? biggest decision you make in your life is who you marry that first yeah. time round and who you have your children with. The first time first round, time I like round. that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both very much. Great to see you. Thank you.